everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video this afternoon i hope that you have been enjoying your saturday and so we are going to be talking about what is happening across the atlantic now the first thing i want to point out is that this satellite imagery here is actually a little bit behind so there are some delays with the satellite this evening and so this is from earlier this afternoon and we can see that at the time there's quite a bit of activity in the eastern gulf of mexico pushing into southeastern states especially florida even for cuba as well we can see a portion of cuba there and more than likely the bahamas and then in terms of the radar this is indicating the rainfall activity so when we see some of these shades of those oranges and yellows popping up that is where the heaviest rain is and the lightest shade of blue is indicating light rainfall activity so a lot of rain has been making its way into florida as well as parts of the northwestern bahamas and Cuba, as aforementioned, and even looking towards uh, near the Cayman Islands, there's a Cayman and Cayman Brack, and even for Jamaica as well, across some areas, there's been some shower activity. And then looking up, we can see that other portions of the U.S. are also experiencing some showers this afternoon. Then as we look across other areas in the Caribbean, we're not seeing where there's any major weather system resulting in a lot of heavy rainfall right now, but some showers have been moving in from the east across portions of St. Vincent, the Grenadines, even other sections of the Lesser Antilles headed toward Puerto Rico as well. There's been some showers across some areas, not for all of the island, but there's been some rainfall moving through. But on a whole, there isn't anything too crazy happening across the region right now. However, things are going to get a bit interesting as we head into the new week because this storm system, which is currently impacting Florida and uh, is going to be increasing the risk of tornadoes as we head through the rest of today and into tonight, tomorrow morning as well, that is going to be impacting the Caribbean. And it is already doing so, as we saw Cuba already experiencing some periods of heavy rain. Now, in terms of what models are showing, this is the GFS model for tomorrow morning. And here we can see all these colors, especially where we have those uh, shades of yellows, oranges, and reds, indicating a lot of heavy rain moving through parts of northern Florida at the time, going to southern Georgia and the Carolinas. And there will also be that threat of tornadoes for other southeastern u.s states and going to the bahamas we can see that a lot of rainfall is likely to affect the area so the associated front is making its way through the caribbean as we can see some of those green shadings as we head into monday take a look at this the front continues its way out by that time florida georgia the northern bahamas parts of cuba the cayman islands should be in the clear in terms of all this activity and other areas such as jamaica will continue to feel some impacts maybe some periods Areas of some heavy downpours across the island and also with this winds are likely to be coming from the northeast not only for jamaica but also for other sections of the caribbean as well as the bahamas and the turks and caicos islands as the system makes its way through now with the front passing there is a mass of cool, dry air behind it, and it is likely that the mass of cool air is going to be dipping into the Caribbean, and we'll be talking about that in a moment, but we want to look at the rainfall forecast for the rest of today, as well as going into around 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So we're kickstarting things, looking at the Caribbean and surrounding areas. There we can see some of these shades of purples popping up, so just near Cuba, there could be a lot of heavy rainfall as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow with that area of low pressure and also for sections of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Then for the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, there may be some periods of some heavy downpours across sections of the islands and even toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic. But the rainfall doesn't get as significant for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and most of the Lesser Antilles. Heading to the Windward Islands, we want to keep an eye on what happens there. There may be some substantial rainfall across some areas. Similar story for much of Colombia and parts of western Venezuela. For the Guyanas, we're seeing in that there could be some periods of some heavy downpours and also same story for costa rica panama and heading to some spots in mexico guatemala honduras and the bay islands as well so that is what is expected across the region some areas will be a little bit drier such as sections of the yucatan and el salvador and also for the abc islands but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted on that again this goes out tomorrow afternoon around 3 p.m or so and then go into the u.s now we can see some of these purple and pink shadings 
popping up. So over two inches, going up to maybe around four or five inches of rainfall at maximum within this time period here. So across much of Florida, especially northern Florida, going through parts of southern Georgia and the Carolinas, even up to Virginia, uh, we can see all of these various shades, these more vibrant shades popping up here. So there's likely to be a lot of heavy rainfall with that airflow pressure sweeping through and bring in said impacts and it's not only going to be the rain there will also be those strong winds which are already impacting some areas those tropical storm force winds as i said earlier the threat of tornadoes for some areas and even those rough seas so that is what is expected as the system makes its way through it's bringing tropical storm like conditions though it is not one because it has not met the threshold to be considered a tropical storm in terms of how it has developed so that is what is going on guys and then as i mentioned earlier there's going to be that massive cool air following behind that's going to lower temperatures for some areas this is as we head into tuesday of next week the 19th of december we can see these blue shadings which represent the lower temperature so the blue shadings go into that dark purple shade indicating below normal temperatures and of course it's the opposite with those yellow and orangish and red shadings where they indicate higher temperatures than normal so cooler temperatures are likely across much of the southeastern u.s and sections of Central America and the Caribbean islands. We can see that for uh, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, potentially for parts of Hispaniola, the Bahamas, and maybe the Turks and Caicos Islands. It may not be a dramatic decrease in temperatures, but I mean, the cooler weather is welcomed. A lot of us have been suffering from the heat, especially areas which have not been experiencing much rainfall activity or just some overcast conditions where these clouds, they kind of help to block out some of the sun's rays. So unfortunately, that's not been the case for some islands. So the cooler temperatures would be welcomed. As we head into Friday of next week, we can see that it persists across the Northern Caribbean and offshore of the Southeast US. And the Euro is in agreement with this. This is as we head to Wednesday of next week on the Euro model, and we're seeing somewhat of a similar story here. So this is something to look forward to, guys, if you are a lover of cooler weather like myself. So that is what is going on this evening. Please stay safe if you're being impacted by the storm system and do not take any unnecessary risks. Of course, I'll continue to keep you posted. Tomorrow's updates may be posted in the evening just as today's. But if you didn't catch the message at the start, I did post a new video to my second channel, Weather Extra. So it delves into how much of a threat the increase in temperatures is to food security in the Caribbean. So you can go ahead and check it out and share your thoughts there. And you can also share so that other persons may be informed of what could potentially happen as well as the mitigation measures to combat the effects. So that is it for right now. I hope that you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be well otherwise.